what portable vocal booths work best for singing practice to dampen sound going out? Good question. Portable vocal booths comparison part 2B, outgoing noise challenge, singing without disturbing your neighbors. Singing challenge setup. To create a repeatable condition, we used a speaker playing a singing practice recording. This way, we could run the same recording at the same volume. The position of our singer in relation to the microphone was not changing. We simply change a booth over the speaker. The test was performed in our soundproof studio. Hello, today we're going to run an experiment uh, to test how portable vocal booths, how efficient they are in blocking the sound of the singer coming out. So are they really, are they really capable to allow you sing without disturbing the neighbors. So this is what we're going to test. And this is how the test is designed. First of all, we have this singer and the speaker facing that way, the sound out, and we design it to be approximately at the height of the, you know, singer mouse. Now, uh, then we have these recording devices. So we have the sound meter and we have the microphone. So we're gonna record the sound coming, you know, outside of the booth with the microphone, so we can see the waveform. And we're also gonna uh, record the meter, the sound meter in decibels and see how that uh, changes. Now, the singer and the recording meter is not gonna be changed. It's gonna be stay permanently for um, consistency of the experiment. And um, the song, we're gonna play from the phone through that speaker. Now we're gonna run it three times in a row to make sure that there is no kind of uh, error and it's all consistent and uh, for each booth. So once we run the control without anything, then we can put one booth right over it like that. just like that, to, to simulate how the singer would actually be. Because if you speak in that, that's where you're gonna be. And uh, the same we're gonna do with Vomo and with the Isovox. So Isovox has a bigger booth, so it's gonna go deeper inside. It's gonna be about that, exactly how the singer would stay. So you want to imitate completely, and obviously the box is going to be closed. You want to be as objective as possible. So let the test begin.
Results and Discussion So, why did we conduct this test? The reason we included this singing test was because Isovox claims that it was specifically designed to reduce the sound level escaping from the booth used in singing practice to allow people to sing without disturbing the neighbors at any time they want. What was the claim? Isovox claims on their website, Isovox 2 will massively reduce the volume thanks to the patented 360-degree XYZ Pro Acoustic design. You can finally sing without disturbing your neighbors. No need to soundproof your room, implying that it is pretty soundproof. How did the booths actually perform? Since the melody has ups and downs in sound volume, we decided to estimate the average volume on the decibel graph. The following graphs show the test recordings presented in decibels, half waveform. Note that on the following graph, 0 decibels at the top of the vertical scale equals the most loud, while negative 60 decibels at the bottom equals the least loud. The same recordings in linear waveform. With the control, the loudest note registered was 90 decibels. With the Porta Booth, there was a 4 to 5 decibel reduction, as the loudest note registered was 86.6 decibels. With the Momo, there was an 8 to 9 decibel reduction, with the loudest note registering at 84 decibels. And finally, with the Isovox, there was a 7 to 8 decibel reduction, as the loudest note registered at 85.4 decibels. Note the different pattern of the waveform. Conclusion Vomo performed the best in dampening outgoing sound with the Isovox coming in a very close second. Portabooth also showed some sound reduction, which was a bit surprising because it did not do very well in the incoming noise challenge, also known as the vacuum test. Something curious. It was interesting to see that the sound wave in the Isovox test had a different pattern when compared to the control and the other two booths. We also noticed that the loudest note in the Isovox test was registered in a different segment of the recording than that of the control and the other two booths. It is possible that since Isovox has rigid walls that some frequencies are being reflected back into the booth. This begs a question. Would this affect an actual recording made in the Isovox? So we will make a new test to see if the original soundtrack is affected if recorded in Isovox. Stay tuned.